What's going on everyone? CJ back here with a brand new episode of the Madden 24 St. Louis Sentinels franchise. That is right. Welcome back. New story for last week says our guy JJ Ford left it all out on the field today. JJ had a great game last week. 393 passing yards, 62% completion and two touchdowns. We did unfortunately lose to the Lions 27-21. But that was a fun game, man. It was just, it was like one of those games, you know, where you could just say, hey, you lost, but you left it all out there on the field. JJ did have two interceptions, though, so that may be something to keep our eyes on. Only had one prior to last week, and he had two of those puppies last week. So we're taking on the Dolphins today. High overall, but not the record to back it up. Only at one and three. So very interesting. They still have two under center. And I'm assuming Tyreek and Jalen Waddle, but doesn't look like they really do anything well here. We're going to start out defending the deep pass just because Tyreek and Jalen, we know they can always get downfield. But a very lackluster offense, at least from initial observation. And I don't really care too much about that because when you have weapons like Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, I feel like you're going to have to go kind of back and forth with these Dolphins here. Probably get into a shootout, so we are going to go throw it deep as well. And we need to get JJ back uh, on the plus side here, so we're going to go two plus passing touchdowns. And we have a chance here to go over 500. Right now, it's still very early on in the campaign, so nothing that I'm really too worried about. And uh, the big question on my mind, though, is when are we going to get to see the fourth round pick out of UAB Dwight Jackson? Could be this season because Brian Robinson, as we get a little bit closer and closer to the trade deadline here, he could be potential uh, trade option to uh, kind of get back some of that draft capital that I just so willy nilly threw away in these last couple of drafts. So maybe Dwight Jackson, we haven't got to see him in action quite yet, but his time may be coming soon. Got a couple big contracts here to square up today, starting with Jonathan Allen. Of course, we got to extend him, man. He's the back-to-back -back NFL leader in TFLs. Not doing great job so far this year, but it's still an early campaign. Now, he does not have any interest in being here. Luckily, we have a lot of cap room to work with next year, so we can afford to overpay him a little bit. And I actually want to try to bring him back really for two years. I mean, he is 30, so he's going to start to regress. But right now, he's still the anchor on our defensive line. So we'll get the ball rolling here with a two-year, $53 million deal. And John Allen says he would sign today if there was some way to improve how this team aligns with his interests. So Jonathan, we're going to have to throw a bit of a bigger bag at him, unfortunately. Kind of thought that would be the case. So we'll come back to him next week. Also, Kendall Fuller who has three picks already this season, and he has just been the man in the secondary. Now, he also has no interest in being here. He also wants a one-year deal. So with uh, Kendall here, I mean, we just saw it didn't work out with uh, Jonathan Allen too good. So let's do two years, $32 million for Kendall. Kendall is back. Overpaid a little bit, but his play is backing up the money that he's going to be earning for sure. And here's an interesting one. Brian Robinson entering a contract year. So I don't know, man. I We got to get some draft picks back. We got virtually none for this year. And with Brian being on the trade block, we got a young rookie, Dwight Jackson, who has hidden dev, by the way. And we haven't got to see him on the field. Our draft picks, we have two. We have two draft picks coming up in the 2026 draft. Uh, round six and round seven. So Brian may be able to help us replenish some of those. I don't know. We'll see. Got a lot of thinking to do, but that is definitely an option. Now the Dolphins, who we played today, still got two under center and also Drew Locke. And then rookie Theo Hunt, who uh, stole JJ Ford's face scan. Don't know what's up with that. Better uh, get your old fifth round pick ass having out of here. <coughs> Another fifth round pick too. Andrew McKay, rookie out of Arkansas State. And Devon Achan here. So uh, Dolphins, I, I mean, they look pretty good, especially Tyreek, Jalen Waddle here. Marvin Mims also found his way. So not sure why they're one and three, but they got a pretty good roster. Tight end, not really too deep. Isaiah Likely and Bob Tunyon going to be the main factors there. And then uh, Justin Burrell, who I, we scouted him heavily 
The left tackle out of Georgia, only normal dev. That is a uh, very, very, I'm glad we didn't draft him. He doesn't look too good for a uh, first round pick. He was pick 14 and doesn't look too good. And also D's got some titties on him as well. Robert Jones, not too good at guard. Connor Williams, pretty good center. Robert Hunt, decent guard. Offensive line, Quandre Green, two-year man now. Um, and Alien McGee? Alien. Okay, fair enough. Uh, defensive line, Jadeveon Clowney and Ben Franklin. So I'm sure he's uh, electric, just he absolutely electric on the field. Christian Wilkins, pretty good player and uh robbie lynch two-year pro to mizzou jonah williams defense looking uh, uh decent i would say fair to midland bradley chubb pretty good linebacker when he's healthy jerome baker very good mike jalen phillips okay so their linebackers are pretty good and corners of course jalen ramsey and the x-man xavian howard so gotta make sure we don't throw picks javon holland very good nick cross so their secondary is definitely beefed up pretty well Brandon McManus is the kicker and Dom Maggio is the punter. And before we dive into this game here, let me just say, if you guys aren't playing Sentinel Sportsbook, which I post on my community post, man, are you missing out? I post it before every game, pretty much not going to do it for this one, uh, but I'll start back up on the next episode. But Sentinel Sportsbook, all you got to do is comment a pick in the community post. I set spreads, overs, unders, player props. All you got to do is pick one. And if your pick hits, you have a chance to win a $25 gift card simply for leaving a comment. So let me tell you about that real quick, and then we'll dive into action. You may have already seen in a recent community post, but I am rolling out an exciting weekly contest on this channel called Sentinels Sportsbook. No YouTube, this is not online gambling, so please don't cancel me. Before each episode, I will set spreads, overs and unders, and various player props. So be sure to subscribe so you can look out for my community posts. All you have to do is comment on the post with one selection that you think will happen in the game that's coming up. Only one selection per person, please. Once the episode drops, I'll put anyone who picked correctly in a wheel spin and the winner will win a $25 Amazon gift card or any gift card that you might want that I can purchase on Amazon and send to you via email. I'm doing this because I wanna make this content as engaging for you guys as possible. So I will do this before each and every episode as long as I am able to. So please make sure you comment your pick in the community post. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see the community post. And let's start giving out some prizes here in this Sentinels Sportsbook. 83 overall Sentinels versus the 85 overall Dolphins. Back home at Sentinels Field. And if you guys are fired up for some more St. Louis Sentinels gameplay, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I drop Madden 24 content weekly, and I currently have two series going on that I upload multiple times a week. So without further ado, guys, let's see if we can get over 500, three and two on the season, get down to Sentinels Field and get ready for the game. Brandon McMahon is going to kick it off here. So the Sentinels offense will start the game. A little bit stagnant last week, I would say, against Detroit, but we did start to pick it up there towards the end and hoping that this man can just be clean on the turnovers. He did throw two picks last week, and prior to that, he only had one on the season. Still a great, great touchdown interception ratio. 13-3, dare I say, MVP caliber numbers. Wouldn't that be something if J.J. Ford could uh, get MVP in his sophomore campaign in the NFL. That would be absolutely crazy, and I'm here for it. I'm sure you guys are too. So let's start with another, probably not MVP candidate, but fan favorite for sure, Dudley Saxton. Going to try to get the outside run going. Got a nice block there, and Dudley going to pick up respectable yards. Nine on his opening carry. Haven't got him over the century mark yet, but he has been solid and consistent, averaging, you know, in the 70s, 80s, stuff like that. So he has been a solid back. Just got to see if we can get him over the century mark. We're going to run it right behind our rookie, Will Devlin. And Dudley has some nice lanes. I'm liking how this game is starting for Dudley. Three straight carries to Dudley? Sure, why not? Let's try draw play right up the gut here. See if he can keep this good momentum going. And that time we were not able to get through the line as we were stopped up there before we had a chance to really do anything. Since Miami sees us out here uh, run happy, maybe we could catch him off guard with a nice little play action rollout. There's Curtis Samuel who had a big game last week. Not gonna make it quite 
to the uh, to the uh, line to gain. It's going to bring up third and inches. And this is where Dudley put it in the hands of Dudley Saxton. Let him pick up inches. Could even be maybe four down territory. But let's just not worry about it. Oh, huge hole from Dudley. He's off to the races. Right up the gut. Diving into the end zone. Welcome back, Dudley Saxton. Has not had the best of starts to this campaign. But the way he finished last season... That's why he's starting over Brian Robinson for reasons like that. And Dudley just took it straight up the gut, never looked back, and got into the end zone for six. 50 yards on that carry from Dudley. Easily his longest of the season. Maybe even the longest of his career. I don't know. But if Dudley's ripping off 50-yard-plus uh, gains, and it looks like even the runs before that, the holes were opening up pretty big. This could be the Dudley Saxton show, and there's no better way to uh, take the pressure off of a QB who just made a couple big mistakes the week prior than to have your RB number one step up and shoulder some of the load. Injury timeout here. Want to see uh, Tua. Ah, we're not going to get to see Tua because one of the Dolphins had to get injured, so good job there, buddy. Thanks for that. And we'll see if these receivers become a problem for us. Devon Achan in the backfield probably gonna be a gift to him no it's not it's a play fake and two uh going deep to start and that one was nearly picked by uh quan martin thought that was kendall fuller for a second we now have two two count them two superstars in the secondary quan martin and fuller so that was a really nice play by martin two and now in the tight shotgun with a chan behind him and that's gonna be jalen waddle getting a nice first down conversion picking up 12 Gonna have to have eyes on both Hill and Waddle, I would presume, in this one. Show Blitz on here. Maybe, uh, might be looking to do some press man. Did press man last week, and it seemed to work pretty well against the Lions. Quick little check down there to the tight end, Isaiah Likely. But only for a couple. And when you're... The only thing, though, about that, you press uh, Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill, you better have some safety help. Right now, we don't, as a matter of fact. So let's actually uh, audible into the zone. You better have safety help if you're going to be pressing Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, because if not, you could be getting cooked. Marvin Mims picking up a decent gain there to bring up third down. We're going to audible into some pressure, and we're going to user control John Allen. He's trying to get a big contract, and oh, he almost got to Tua, but it was a late breakup by Forbes. Emmanuel Forbes, the pressure, Jonathan Allen got there, and it just rattled Tua just enough to not make the best pass in the world. So offense scored great. Defense played good. And now we're going to get the ball back with a chance to go up 10 or 14 to nothing. Gets the high-powered offense like the Dolphins. I will certainly take that. Try Dudley again. Seemed to work pretty well on the last drive. And I'm telling you, I'm liking these blocks, man. And look at that. You that. Oh, that, 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 that. Why? Just why? Dudley going to the locker room. Got to check on my man's injury, man. I feel like he's been injured off and on pretty frequently. Never anything serious, but still, man. And now it's going to be in the hands of Brian Robinson, who, uh, you know, if he wants to stay on this team, he's up for a contract. We need draft picks. This could be a great time for him to prove himself or reprove himself, I guess. Another play action here. First and 10 from the 36. Six, and I'm kind of looking for Terry, who's right there. Dot from J.J. Ford and Terry with a nice, nice move. So this offense is fluid today. And Dudley will not come back to this game. So that is not good at all. That's just my luck, isn't it, man? I mean, Dudley having a career game, ripping off 50-plus yard gains, and he gets injured. So now it's going to be the Brian Robinson and the uh, J.J. Ford show, which uh, may be the Bart Burns show. Ooh, that was almost nearly picked off by Jalen Ramsey. Not an accurate ball by Ford at all. And since we are in field goal range, I'm going to play slightly conservative, but mesh spot doesn't seem like the worst call in the world. So let's just hope that somebody can get open. I think it's Jahan Dotson who has been clutch. Targeted him on a lot of third downs, and he typically comes through and answers the call. So that will bring up second and 10. Going back into the single back here, and I'm just going to go ahead and check it down to Logan Thomas because it's a safe enough play. 
Picking up six, gonna bring up a big, big third down. I will settle for a field goal, yes, but definitely want more, man. Definitely, definitely want more. Oh, I don't, uh, wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna risk it. Wasn't gonna risk it. Christian Wilkins gets the sack. I'm fine with that, rather than, I didn't like any of the routes downfield, and rather than do something stupid, I'll take my points with Joey Sly. Hopefully, I can drill this here. So there is a slight bit of wind going to the right. So got to be careful. That one actually might be missed. Barely sneaks through. Oh, my God. Two are not looking too crisp to start this one out. But got to take that with a grain of salt because we know that can uh, definitely change in a heartbeat. He'll come out shotgun now with A-chan to his right. And we'll see, oh, A-chan. You are not looking too crisp to start this one out. Bruh. Got open on the wheel, and two is not going to miss that one. How, how, how did we let him get that open? Devon A-chan just cooked us, man. Absolutely threw us on the George Foreman there. And, I mean, we had, somebody was guarding him. Chase Young, which that should never happen. And Jamin Davis just let him let him ran past him. Did not think that it was going to be uh, not surprised. It's a big play by the Dolphins. I just didn't think it was going to come at the hands of Devon Achan. 10-7 going into the second. I can't believe the Dolphins have 92 passing yards. Almost all of it came on that wheel route to Devon Achan. Uh, but Sentinels got the ball here with a chance to kind of open this thing up. Go up 17-7. That would be lovely indeed. And we're going to come out single back here. That play that we weren't able to hit earlier to uh, George Williams. Maybe it's here now. There it is. Like that better. George, you're six foot nine. I need you to truck Jalen Ramsey because he is. I mean, look at the height difference there. George wasn't able to truck anybody, but a 23 yard gain does still result. And coach, I mean, look, you guys see it. All these TE attacks here. I'm definitely going to call it in this situation, although I typically like to roll out, and now we could have a blitzer there uh, on the left side of the field. Unless he's just there to kind of spy forward. We'll see. Oh, he's definitely blitzing, and Bart Burns still gets open. Read him quick enough. JJ Ford, 9 for 11 for a buck 19. And now we got the ball almost inside the 10-yard line. Five yards to go, boys. Let's get this thing into the promised land. Jahan... Nope. Just going to be a pick, and no one's going to get there, really. Back-to-back -back weeks with a pick six. Are you freaking kidding me? That's Nick Cross to safety. Wow. Did not even see him on that play. That is so unfortunate. So unfortunate indeed. Came out in the mesh spot. I mean, really, I should just hit Jahan or Brian Bur Bart Burns right there. But I waited, I was surveying, I was scanning. Yeah, Nick Cross was just lurking. Can't be doing that, CJ. Why does it feel like ever since Dudley left the game, this has just been going downhill. Got a rebound here with a uh, PA Cross single back X bunch. Nasty, thank you so much. I mean, it's still a anybody's ball game, but 14-10, Dolphins have ripped off now. 14 unanswered points and yeah i just feel like ever since dudley left that's that's been the difference so brian needs you to kind of turn the jets up brother he doesn't have those jukes that's the thing dudley able to juke he's so elusive back there brian does not have that brian is not elusive like that he is a power back in every form and fashion and i just i miss the jukes i miss the jukes I got to be honest, George Williams, middle of the field, fighting forward, he does. We're still in this one. Just got to cap this thing off with some points. Second and 11, we're coming out 13 personnel, but it's not going to be a run. It is going to be a play fake, and it's actually just going to be a sack from Jerome Baker. So um, not having a great time in the second half. First quarter, I was McDonald's freaking loving it, but not really having a, a great time here. In the second, Terry McLaurin, you can change my mood right now, or maybe mm -hmm. overshot Curtis Samuel and don't even think that we're in field goal range now. 
We are ever so slightly, and I have to shut up now. That one could be good from Sly. Let's see if it has the distance. Did that go in? I couldn't tell. Did that go in? It did, just barely. So we know Joey Sly's range now is about 59 yards, maybe 60 on a good day. Yes, we do respond with points and have, actually haven't seen the Dolphins offense in a while because of that pick six. About to see him now. Defense going to need to step up and play some ball. See if this is a run to A-chan. It is definitely running formation. Got to watch the play fake as well. No, it's just going to actually be a straight pass. And Tua going to step up and slide because we had Cody Barton right there ready to lay a big hit on him. We're guessing pass. We're shading inside here. We got uh, Tyree Kill pretty much unguarded on the right. And Tua just going to throw it away. That would have been a coverage sack if we would have got home. So that was a good stand by the defense. And now just look, 349 to go. Dolphins get the ball back after halftime. We just got to have a nice, long, methodical drive, preferably the ends and points. And preferably if I could get a blocker for Jahan Dotson, that would be nice. Obviously, we want to go into the locker room leading up on the scoreboard. So let's see if we can make that happen. First and 10. Going to come out, play fake. Going to roll out. Terry's there. And Jalen Ramsey was running with him step for step. I didn't like that one at all. Jalen Ramsey has his X Factor activated now, too. So might not want to throw to that side of the field. It's just going to be a delayed route from Samuel, who has been pretty much our offense ever since Dudley left. That's not really a good pickup there. But uh, Samuel is playing great and this is a big third down here third and five Jalen Ramsey I do not like the fact that he has his x factor on and what am I gonna do probably something dumb and throw it to that side of the field let's put Dudley on an out route um, but could be McLaurin on the corner shot and I mean I literally just did what I said I shouldn't do what am I gonna do try something dumb because that's just how this medulla oblongata works. And you know what? This could be, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't typically do this. This could be the worst decision of my entire life. But it's fourth and five. I realize we're deep in our own territory. I would typically punt, but for some reason, I just feel good about the screen pass. Oh my God! Do not be like me when you grow up. I'm begging you. <sighs> I just saw, I'm selling here, guys. I'm selling. I mean, free rusher. Not even, I realize it's a screen pass, but is that Ben Franklin? That is Ben Franklin. I told you he was going to be electric. We're going to go ahead and press up on the line here. Two are coming out I form, so got a fullback in here. Going to control Cody Barton, but not going to be Barton. It's just going to be Tyreek Hill. With a nice dot from Tua. Now, there is a lot of time left on the scoreboard, yes. And we could score touchdowns. Two-point conversion would tie it up. But I'm not playing my best in this one. I'll be the first to admit. We got a chance to put some points on this drive here. So, got to play smart. Got to pick up some yards. And got to get this ball downfield. Bart Burns is wide open on the sideline there. Going to go ahead and get out of bounds. And Jalen Phillips gets injured so Dolphins fans definitely don't want to see that we got all of our timeouts coach is saying draw play I don't think that's look I know I've kind of abandoned the run ever since Dudley went out but I mean what do you expect Brian Robinson is not Dudley but that's gonna be a good nice little run there clock is not really a factor so not even gonna call a timeout either and coach is saying screen last time I did this we had Benjamin freaking Franklin being electric in the backfield Let's see if that can... Uh, it's the same thing again. And it just doinked off of Brian. Was that Ben Franklin? That time it was actually Christian Wilkins. Yeah, I don't think screens are going to work too well in this one. So maybe abandon that. Third and three. Let's pick this up. Please. Going to uh, scan the field. There's Bart Burns. And he couldn't hang on to it. Even if we kick this field goal, the Dolphins will probably freaking drive with 47 seconds left and score. 
So I feel like we really need this one. Not me being dumb again. Not me selling the game. Oh no, oh no. Let's pick this up, guys. Let's pick this up, please. Curtis, I love you. Thank you so much. You're my best friend forever. And then do we call a timeout now? Um, let's see what the coach is suggesting. All right. Not going to call a timeout quite yet. I probably should. I realize it. But we might have Curtis Samuel getting open in the middle of the field. Oh, God. This pressure, man. I'll tell you. This pressure is dialed up today. Our Burns may be able to beat his man on press. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to see if... He can, he's not gonna, and that was, God, man, I'm not seeing these DBs too well today. Some games you got it, right? Some games you don't. This is one where I haven't had it, but somebody is gonna possibly be open on single coverage here, maybe on the right side, so, oh, pressure's there again. Ryan didn't catch it. We're gonna kick the field goal. Go into the locker room down by five and just hope that uh, we can play better in second half because this first half has definitely been a little rocky. But all in all, still a close game on the scoreboard. Inside run shows Dudley, but we know it's Brian Robinson. Going to keep uh, defend the deep pass as our focus and Dolphins get the ball first. I mean... It's been kind of like a roller coaster for them. They've had a couple really good drives, and we've had a couple really good drives on defense. Obviously, just need the ladder to take place here because we don't want the Dolphins to score. We're starting to get right back in this one, and if we can force them off the field here, get the ball back, we may have a chance to retake the lead. All right, let's see what the defense has here. Can they uh, bail out this offense? There's a nice push into the backfield. James Smith-Williams is going to bring down Devon Achan for a loss of three. So that is a good way to start. And uh, hey, well, guess what? We'll send pressure again. Why not? Dante Fowler, I'll probably have him just drop back in coverage a little bit. And there is a wide open Jalen Waddle, but the big hit there from Kendall Fuller, who just got him that contract extension, able to jar that thing free. We can safely guess pass on this one, of course, because Obviously, it is going to be one, or is it? No, it's actually going to be a draw play to A-Chan. Okay. Uh, so, okay, Chase Young is there to get him. That's exactly what we needed from this defense, forcing a very, very quick three and out. Now, if I could just get my freaking crap together on offense, stop playing dumb, just play laid back and how I normally play, then maybe we'll have a shot in this one. Tell you who's not going to have a shot. Jahan Dotson on the kick return. Surprise to freaking prize. Uh, the devil's calling me. Terry's getting pressed on the outside. Depending on what that safety does, I'm not even going to attempt to do it. I mean, look, it was a good read. I'm Jalen, Jalen uh, Ramsey. Almost said Jalen Waddle. Jalen Ramsey is out there on coverage, so I'm not going to do anything ultra aggressive, but I at least wanted to see you know, what the weather was like there, and just decided to get rid of that thing. I think it was probably the best call. Second and 10. Now, we need some protection because we really haven't had it to this point. Brian, oh, JJ, just completely missed him on that one. Now, we are at risk of going on a quick three and out, so definitely can't have that happening. Let's get a little bit of protection here. We're going to need it, and Curtis may just be open. Curtis is absolutely an animal in this game. He is an animal in this game. He actually may have more receiving yards than McLaurin here in this young campaign. I believe that he does, as a matter of fact, because right now he's at a buck 43, and Terry hasn't really called his name too much. So first and 10 now, we're very close to the red zone. Let's just uh, play smart. There's Terry with room to run. This should be a touchdown from the St. Louis Savior. Thank you. Oh, my God. We're back, boys. We are back. Terry on the long extended drag. Had to roll out a bit with Ford to extend that pocket. And we did find Terry. And now we are right back in this thing. And the coach wants us to go for two. Which I think is the right call as well. Obviously, it'll put us up by a field goal as opposed to just being up by one. So, uh, Bart Burns. Conversion is successful on the stick route. Sentinels go up by three. Tua coming out eye for him here. He's been doing that a lot this game. Surprised I don't see him in shotgun a little more often. And there's Devon Achan, his best run of the game, but he fumbled it. 
And the Dolphins, I think, were able to pick it back up. They were. That's unfortunate. That was our, our chance right there. And now two is coming out empty. Okay, I like this. I like this indeed. I need Glenn May or Jonathan Allen or somebody to get back there on pressure. And that one, I believe, was caught for no gain, though. Dime Blitz, I like it. I like it indeed. We can also guess pass as well. And we can shade inside. I'm going to have Hayward drop back in coverage, though, because... Oh, God. Somebody get Tua. He's going to pick this ball up with his legs. That is highly, highly unfortunate because we had all the routes locked up downfield, but we did not account for the quarterback. Tua are going to pick that one up on his own. Bring in our 4-3 defense here, although maybe should have came out nickel or something like that. And it's Jalen Waddle or Hill. It's Tyreek Hill. Dolphins moving on this drive. Got to be careful. Dolphins now uh, pretty, pretty close to scoring. So you got to figure I would say they probably would, but you never know. Let's audible into some pressure again. Why not? Chase Young, I might have him. I'm going to user control him. Maybe we can get him a free rusher. Oh, look at Jamin. And there's uh, Justin Hayward, two-year pro out of Miami. Thank you so much. Four sacks for Miami, and that was our first of the game. And now all we got to do is just play hopefully good uh, zone coverage here. We're going to guess pass. We're going to shade inside. And hopefully we can just lock down all the routes on this right side. See what Tua wants to do. That's a pick. It is a pick. Who else? Kendall Fuller. Why? Oh, my God, dude. Okay. First of all, great play from Fuller. He just got a contract extension, his fourth pick on the season. But I am literally holding the left analog stick back because I want him to just down the ball in the end zone, and they, they won't do it. They refuse to do it because, I mean, maybe I should have just ran full speed. But now we're going to have the ball at the five-yard line as opposed to, and I don't care. I'm going draw. I'm going to go draw play to Brian Robinson. We made the focus, run inside. Hopefully, Brian can get a good block or two. And you know what? I will take that, getting us out of the shadows of our own end zone. Uh, Dudley, what type of medical attention are you getting back there, man? Uh, because I really, really need you back on the field, if you don't mind. Because Brian's not really getting it done here, unfortunately. I hate to say it, but he's really not. Third and three. Got to pick this up, man. Got to uh, get ourselves back in the game. And, and now Brian literally got in the way of the route from Curtis Samuel. Um, because that was Curtis all day. And Brian's just like, do, do, oh, it's a football. Okay, yeah. All right, Brian, you're not making a good case for yourself, man. We got Dwight Jackson, rookie out of UAB, just uh, waiting in the wings to get his opportunity. And if you're going to be making boneheaded plays like that, uh, he may get his opportunity quicker. And Dolphins pretty much in field goal range as well. So, yeah, I mean, a field goal I'm fine with. I just can't believe how that last drive played out, man. That was absolutely crazy. Because that should have been ours for the taking. We got, we got rookie uh, Trovon Wiley in here now as well. Tua going to roll out. This could be another pick for Fuller. Not a pick, but I'll tell you what. Fuller, he wears that captain on his chest for a reason. Because he is the man back there in the secondary. We're going to man up here. Play man defense. Tua's changing the play at the line. Good for you. Go ahead. I don't care. We're going to use her on Justin Hayward. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please wow. overshoot him. Thank you. Wow. I just saw my light flash before my eyes on that one. Maybe we uh, go back in the zone on this one. Um, that's playing Tyreek Hill, and man, that is scary indeed. Tua, what's he doing? He's throwing the ball out of bounds. And this will bring out Brandon McManus, I presume, but it's going to be a long kick. Definitely not a gimme by any stretch of the imagination. Hope he misses it, obviously. And if he does, he's not going to drill it. But that's all right. Score is only tied. And we will go back to work on offense. Probably going to be Brian again, although Jahan may be on the little bubble screen. Nope. Now Brian's getting some, some lanes. Okay. Now Brian's getting some lanes. He really needs to make up for that boneheaded play he made uh, getting in the way of 
Curtis Samuel on that previous drive. So far, he's doing a good job. Not saying I'm sold on him yet, but he's definitely uh, making up for it a little bit. Let's come out, play fake. Going to be a boot rollout to the right. I'm looking for Terry, and Terry is there. Thank you, Terry. J.J. Ford up over 300 yards. What's new? He's been doing that since he entered the league. Coach is saying P.A. Cross, single back. Letting you guys see. I'm dialing up coach suggestions. I like this play. It's a good play. Maybe uh, could possibly get Logan Thomas and or George Williams. We'll just have to see what develops. It's George. Hang on to that, George. George took about three hits on that one. He did hang on. That's going to bring us to the end of the third, and we are up on the scoreboard in prime position to score. Let's freaking buckle down and get back over 500. Yeah, Dolphins not really putting up, you know, too much yards. It's just the, the mistakes by me. I will give credit to the defense. I realize they have 24 points, but the defense has played much better than a team that's allowed 24 points up until this point. So I will give the defense their flowers. They have been playing pretty good in this one. Let's, uh, the coach is liking these play action rollouts and I'm kind of liking them too, although I don't really like this one. So I'm just going to roll out with JJ Ford. Go out of bounds and live to fight another down. Maybe draw play again to Robinson. I'm going to at least give him a shot here. Lead blockers were never really there. Bradley Chubb gets us, and now Andrew Wiley goes down, who's one of our, I mean, solid starting offensive linemen. So that one uh, could sting a bit. Brian Robinson going to use him as an extra blocker. Let's see if uh, possibly Samuel or Bart Burns can get open on this one. Um, I threw it right to the DB. What am I doing, man? Javon Holland, don't know how he didn't pick that one off. We're gonna go ahead and go up by three, but man, oh man, a touchdown would have been so much sweeter on that one. I'll definitely take a lead. Our defense is playing good, but really wanted the touchdown. I just suck. See what Tua has in store. He hasn't really played great, although now the coach is doing this stupid thing that I hate. Madden, fix your freaking logic. I'm not going to go into prevent defense here. It's not happening. We're going to instead just audible into zone and hopefully just play some good solid defense. Going to be a, hopefully a sack on Tua. It is and a fumble at that. I think that was big John Allen. It was John Allen and somebody else as well. James Smith-Williams who James Smith-Williams is has been playing really, really great for us. The veteran out of NC State wasn't really a high overall when we uh, started this franchise, but he has been playing very, very good this season, I will say. And I don't want to play too conservative, but we definitely just need to guess pass and shade over top here because we got the Dolphins well, well behind the sticks. A-Chan is getting motion out, though, so got to watch that. He did carve us up on couple routes like that earlier and Tua it's gonna be a safety and it was Jonathan Allen paying this guy money next episode man I am giving him whatever size bag he wants because he will remain a St. Louis Sentinel Tua I don't know why he just kind of got a little paranoid back there he tends to do that in this game and that is exactly the break that we needed just got to go ahead and find the end zone on this drive hopefully and be able to put the Dolphins away and we are definitely rebounding here in the second half for sure. If Brian can uh, step up and, you know, lead us to a victory in this one, not saying he's guaranteeing him a sp himself a spot on the roster, but he's definitely going to be doing uh, wonders for his chances. So I would prefer not to throw it if I don't have to. Brian, doing some work. Getting us close to midfield. Ball carrier conservative. Definitely, definitely, definitely got to do that. Because right now, we are just looking to obviously score. Yes, put this thing away. But take as much time off of the clock as humanly possible. And Brian picking up one. 69 yards, though. That is very, very nice indeed. Field goal is actually okay, too. Because that would make it an eight-point ball game. But you know your boy wants points. And there's... Look at Brian. Andrew Wiley can't stay healthy. He's he's over there doing the stanky leg or something, hopping on one foot. But Brian is carrying us on this drive, leading us downfield with ease. I'm impressed, Brian. If you can hear me right now, Brian, keep doing your thing, buddy. There may be a roster spot on this roster for you. Ball carrier vision looking good. And now 
Bart Burns looking injured, getting injured as well. Injuries starting to mount up for the Sentinels in this one. So uh, medical staff need you to step your game up and keep our players healthy. Larry Jenkins going to come in who has not seen too much uh, NFL action. And why does the coach want me to? No, I'm not doing that, coach. I'm not doing that. Why do you want me to pass it so bad? It's third and one. A field goal will put us up by eight. And you want me to pass it with my interception throwing ass. I'm not going to do that. And if I just had one block from Brian, man, that would have been it. We're going to kick our field goal. Bart Burns will come back. That's nice. We're going to kick our field goal. And no, that's, yeah, okay. It's going to put us up by eight, which is good. So the Finns would need to score a touchdown and score a two-point conversion. Not saying they couldn't. They definitely could. But they would need all that to happen just to tie it and probably force overtime. Devon A. Chan is hurt. So that's going to bring in rookie Andrew McKay, the fifth round pick of the Dolphins out of Arkansas State, at least for now. We'll see if A. Chan can get back out there. But for now, it will be McKay. And it's looking like it could be another running set as two is coming out. I form it is going to be a running set and Quan Martin there to bring down McKay. This is a big third down. I'm going to have Justin Hayward out here just in case to watch on Tyreek Hill. And it is. There's that play fake I was talking about. And there's Tyreek Hill. That was just a good play. Emmanuel Forbes could not keep up with Tyreek. But let's be honest, few DBs can. Tyreek Hill is uh, Tyreek Hill for a reason. And we are going to go ahead and switch into zone coverage here. Tyreek is on the outside again. That's going to be a check down to, not McKay, that was uh, somebody, I don't even know who their third string running back is. Larry Roundtree, okay. There's a name you don't call too often. Uh? I need Jonathan Allen to get in the backfield with the quickness on this one. And that is, oh, nice move by uh, Andrew McKay, the rookie. Thought we had him in the backfield, but he cut back inside and picked it up. And that's going to bring us very, very close to... Might even take us to the two-minute warning. Not sure. See if the Dolphins snap this ball here. We're going to guess pass and shade over top on this one. They will, in fact, snap the ball. And that is going to be catch and a completion there by Marvin Mims. And he goes out of bounds, too. We're going pressure on Tua. Don't know if it's the best call. I'm actually going to have Hayward drop out. And nobody Ooh. is there. Oh, God. And I whiffed the tackle. Okay. Isaiah Likely. That takes us to the two-minute warning. So... This one, far from over, far from over. We're going to guess pass, come out, play some zone here, play some good zone defense, hopefully. And, you know, again, the Dolphins are going to have to score a touchdown. Screen, screen, let's get a fumble or something, strip him. A-chan goes down. We'll see if the Dolphins go hurry up. They definitely don't have to, and they are not. Jonathan Allen going to use him again. Just hope he can get into the backfield. And, oh, my God, how was that caught? Benjamin St. Juice in coverage. You tell me how that was caught. This will probably be a touchdown, I'm sure. Don't know how it couldn't be. What's Tua going to do? He is rolling out, though, and it is a touchdown. Okay, that was very easy. Marvin Mims kind of came alive on that drive. Let's see if we can get in the backfield, maybe. Hopefully, it's a handoff. That would be sweet. Two-point conversion is successful. So... We got a minute and three seconds to drive down into field goal range and hopefully kick the walk-off field goal. It's not going to be easy. I really don't want to play overtime. Defense. Dolphins That's made that drive look way, way too easy. And this is it. Got our chance. A good return from Jahan Dotson would help, but we know we're not going to get that. All right, this is it. This is it, guys. Big drive here. 59 seconds to get into field goal range. Can we do it? That is the question. I know Curtis Samuel is up for the task, and we are almost in field goal range there with just one play. We still got two timeouts. I realize I'm not calling any of those yet. Maybe I should ought to think about doing that, but Curtis might just be able to get out of bounds, and he is. So Curtis Samuel, if we go on to win this game, he will be our MVP. Got to still get a little bit closer because I'm sure they'll probably ice me. And I'm not very good on those ice kicks. We're going to call a timeout and maybe do... Maybe I shouldn't do a screen pass because the screen passes haven't been 
working for me at all. I mean, if it comes down to us having to kick a long field goal, which let's be honest, I'm sure that it is. It is what it is. We'll just have to do the best that we can. Although Brian definitely going to help out for sure. Over 100 yards for Brian. Awesome. Very good. We're going to let this thing tick down to about three seconds and kick a probably iced kick. Yep. There's the ice. Okay. So there's the ice. Not the best at these ice kicks. So I'm going to just stop talking right now so I can hopefully drill it. That one could be good. That one could be good. Joey Sly, and it is. Walk off field goal for the Sentinels. 35-32 is going to be your final. In my opinion, shouldn't even have been that close because I started out this game just playing like absolute doo-doo. Did turn it around in the second half. And give our defense credit, man. I know we allowed a team to put up 30-plus points. Part of that was because of the pick six. Part of that was because of that one huge uh, wheel play from Devon Achan. But they really did play good in this one. Ford, 391, one touchdown to one pick. Tua had three touchdowns, but also one pick as well from him. How about Brian? Clap it up for my dude. He may have just earned himself a roster spot. 101 yards, averaging 4.3 yards per carry. Devon Achan never got it going, but this, what could have been, Dudley was at 5 for 72 and a touchdown before he got hurt. Got to check on my man, but look at Curtis. Curtis freaking Samuel. 10 catches for a buck 83. No touchdowns, but he didn't have to. George Williams played good as well. McLaurin, I mean, he did have 83 on three catches and that one touchdown as well. But the defense came to play. Jonathan Allen had a sack. Good old Benjamin Franklin had one. And then also Cody Barton and Dante Fowler and Jamin Davis and James Smith-Williams. Had a sack and a half, and the big interception from Kendall Fuller, that is probably what won the game. So we are going to improve to above 500. Wasn't in the best of fashion, but you know what? A dub is a freaking dub. I just like to keep it close for you guys. That, you know, I like to keep you watching. Got to keep that uh, audience, audience retention score high, right? Let's see if Dudley, okay, thank God. Dudley will not miss any significant time, but Andrew Wiley will. And at the right tackle position, let's see who's going to be Wiley's backup. Will it be Larry Jenkins, who I know you guys probably haven't even heard too much about him. Never really used him. Drafted drafted him in the uh, first draft of the series, and he never really found too much playing time. So Jenkins will be the backup. Is there anybody else? I mean, Braden Daniels probably makes more sense. He's a higher overall. Jenkins was star development, but he lost that because he never really got to see any of the snaps. And uh, was anybody else's dev trait close to being revealed? We got Jarius Powell here. He was our second round pick out of USC. His dev trait should be revealed next episode. And of course, we got our running back Dwight Jackson, but he never really sees any snaps. So it's going to be tough for his to really ever be revealed this season but hey a win is a win hope you guys enjoyed that one depending on what the cowboys do we may be in first place in the nfc east but definitely going to be in second as the eagles and the giants are struggling but that is going to do it for me tonight guys as always i appreciate you stopping by i will catch you on the next one until then peace